The Science of Motivation, How to Hack Your Brain for Success Have you ever thought about what makes us want to reach our goals and follow our dreams? Today's movie goes into great detail about the fascinating subject of motivation. We'll look at the science behind what drives us and how we can use this knowledge to improve our lives. Have you ever had the feeling that your motivation has vanished? You're not by yourself. It might be difficult to stay motivated in a world full of quick satisfaction and innumerable diversions. But don't worry, science is on our side. For years, scientists have been pushing and prodding the human brain in an attempt to discover the mechanisms underlying motivation. And you know what? They have made some really interesting discoveries. Let's examine some scientifically supported methods to boost your motivation as we go into the neurology of motivation. Your brain's reward chemical, dopamine. Let's take a moment to discuss brain chemistry before we go into the techniques. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter at the core of motivation. Although it is more appropriately referred to as the motivation molecule, it is frequently referred to as the feel-good chemical. Dopamine isn't only released when you accomplish a goal. Additionally, it is released when you expect a reward. The chase can occasionally be more thrilling than the capture because of this small peculiarity in brain chemistry. However, there are other players in the motivation game besides dopamine. Another neurotransmitter that contributes to perseverance and willpower is serotonin. Not to mention norepinephrine, which aids in alertness and focus. Your brain seems to have its own motivational software. How can this intricate neurochemical motivation mechanism be hacked then? Let's investigate. Dissect it. Recall how the anticipation of a reward causes dopamine to be released. By dividing large jobs into smaller, easier to manage portions, you can take advantage of this. People who utilize small wins to progress toward bigger goals reported feeling more driven and self-assured, according to a study published in the American journal Health Promotion. Write 500 words rather than write a novel. Consider doing 10 push-ups in place of get fit. You get a little dopamine boost from every little success, which keeps you motivated to keep going. Here's a pro advice though, make these modest objectives time-bound and detailed. The phrase, write 500 words by 10 a.m. is more inspiring than the simple phrase, write 500 words. Your motivation may be boosted by the sense of urgency the deadline produces. See yourself succeeding. Science supports the long-standing use of visualization techniques by athletes. Performance can be greatly enhanced by mental practice, according to a meta-analysis published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine. It's not only for sports that for any aim, visualization can increase motivation. Your brain releases dopamine when you can clearly picture yourself accomplishing your goal exactly like if you had actually done it. Every day, set aside five minutes to imagine yourself accomplishing your objective. Make use of all your senses. What is the appearance, texture, sound, and even scent of success? Here's a sophisticated method. Try mental contrasting. This entails picturing your objective and any roadblocks. Because it improves your dedication to the goal and prepares you for obstacles, research indicates that this can be even more powerful than positive vision alone. The Rule of Goldilocks Do you recall the Goldilocks story? She preferred things to be just right. The motivation system in your brain functions similarly. Overly simple tasks are dull. Overly difficult tasks are disheartening. But merely sufficiently difficult tasks, they are a great source of motivation. This is what psychologist Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi refers to as the flow state, that ideal moment when the challenge is appropriate for your level of expertise and inspires intense enthusiasm and involvement. Make sure your objectives are just a little bit above your existing capabilities. Not so difficult that they seem unachievable, but challenging enough to be engaging. The trick is that you must continuously change the level of difficulty as you get better. It's comparable to advancing in a video game. To maintain your sweet spot, keep pushing yourself. Accountability to society. It turns out that there are times when peer pressure is beneficial. According to a research in the Journal of Consulting and Clinical Psychology, those who had social support of some kind had a higher chance of succeeding. Why? Since people are social beings. We are inherently concerned with what other people think of us. Additionally, goals seem more significant and meaningful when you share them. Join a goal-oriented organization or look for an accountability partner. Regularly update your progress. Gentle peer pressure combined with support can be a very effective motivator. If you want to step it up, consider using a commitment gadget. This is the point at which you publicly commit or even risk financial loss. While websites like stick.com let you to create contracts where you forfeit money if you don't reach your objective, apps like Hapday allow you to make a public pledge. There is nothing more motivating than the possibility of losing actual money. Give yourself a reward. Dopamine, our pal, do you recall? It enjoys rewards. You may give your brain little dopamine boosts as you work toward your goal by creating a reward system for yourself. 
Participants who received instant rewards for exercising were more likely to maintain their fitness regimens, according to a study published in the American Journal of Health Behavior. Try this. Create a system of rewards for your objectives. Perhaps it's a tiny treat for finishing a chore or a larger reward for reaching a significant milestone. As long as the reward doesn't conflict with your objective, for example, don't reward diet progress with a cake binge. Try varied rewards for a twist. Unpredictable rewards can be even more inspiring than regular ones, much like a slot machine. Perhaps make a reward jar with various rewards that you can choose at random when you reach a target. The influence of yet. The way we think about motivation has been completely transformed by the mindset studies of Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck. She discovered that those who had a growth mindset, or the belief that their skills can be improved with effort, are more driven and prosperous than those who had a fixed mindset. Just adding the word yet to your self-talk can have a significant impact. The phrase I can't do this turns into I can't do this yet. Reframe a setback as a teaching moment. What can I learn from this? Ask yourself. How can I do better the next time? The environment is important. Your motivation levels can be significantly impacted by your surroundings. According to a study published in the Journal of Environmental Psychology, procrastination was more common among those who lived in busy environments. Conversely, creating a successful environment can increase motivation. It's similar to preparing your brain to function. Get your workspace in order. Take away any distractions. Place visual reminders of your objectives in a visible location. Make it as simple as you can for your brain to concentrate on the important things. The rule of two minutes. Starting a task might sometimes be the most difficult part of it. The two-minute rule is applicable in this situation. The concept made popular by productivity guru David Allen is straightforward. Complete a work right away if it will take less than two minutes. However, this rule can also be used to get bigger projects started. Simply dedicate two minutes to working on your objective. Once you get started, it's usually easy to continue. Why is this effective? This relates to Newton's first law of motion, which states that objects in motion tend to stay in motion and objects at rest prefer to stay at rest. You can overcome the early lethargy by following the two-minute rule. Use habits to your advantage. While motivation is important, habits are much more beneficial. A behavior requires less conscious effort and willpower when it becomes a habit. According to a study that was published in the European Journal of Social Psychology, a new behavior takes 66 days on average to become automatic. However, don't be intimidated by that. Habits, even if incomplete, can be helpful. Decide on one little step that will help you achieve your objective and make a commitment to complete it every day at the same time. Perhaps it's writing for 10 minutes as soon as you wake up or performing five push-ups immediately after brushing your teeth. These minor routines can result in significant changes over time. The problem with motivation is that it's a continuous process. It requires consistent workout, just like a muscle. It may feel like a wet noodle on some days and strong on others. And it's all right, the secret is to persevere. You'll be exercising your motivation muscles in no time if you regularly use these scientifically supported strategies. Recall the words of Zig Ziglar, the renowned motivational speaker. People frequently claim that inspiration is short-lived. Bathing doesn't work either, which is why we advise doing it every day. You only need to understand how to activate your brain, which is a strong motivating tool. Go out and conquer now. You're capable. If you found this exploration of motivation enlightening and want to continue unlocking your potential, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our community for more insightful videos that empower you to take control of your goals and achieve lasting success. Together, we can harness the power of your mind and make your dreams a reality.